Hey everyone, hope you're all doing really well. So uh, this video will probably only go up in a day or two, but it is Christmas today. And I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I uh, hope you had a great time with family and friends and wherever you are out there, please be safe. So uh, my nephew is getting a, a PC for Christmas. So I've been setting, up, setting that up the last few days, uh, getting everything ready. Um, I'm gonna go deliver it in a little while. But what I want to do just really quickly is have a look at some performance tuning for the CPU, which is a Ryzen 5 3600X. So just a very quick overview of the specs before we get to the performance tuning. My nephew is getting my old Corsair Carbide um, 275 R case. As I've said, it is a Ryzen 5 3600X system sitting in a Asus X470 motherboard. The GPU is a Asus RX 474GB. We have a single stick of ballistics 8GB DDR4 RAM running at 3200 MHz and behind the motherboard tray we have a Kingston A400 512 SSD. Okay, so what I want to be looking at is I, um, I noticed that uh, firstly everything in the BIOS is set completely to stock settings, default settings. The only thing that has been activated is the XMP profile on the memory. And what I noticed was is that the, the voltages, um, they jump around quite a lot. Now I'm, I'm sure this is normal as the load on the CPU increases and decreases. But what worries me just a little bit is the maximum voltage as we, that we can see on the right. And it is going over 1.46 volts. Um, now for me that is just a little bit concerning. Um, I'm sure we can get that done with a bit of tuning and what I'm going to be doing is making use of the CTR utility which is the clock tuner for Ryzen. We're going to give that a run and see what we can do or how much we can um, increase system performance and also bring down the voltage. So basically in order to use the, uh, the CTR utility there are some things you need to do. Uh, you need to make some changes in the BIOS. Now this is something that you will be able to do fairly easily on your own even if you are not very tech savvy as long as you follow the instructions um, very specifically and you are very careful then you should be fine. I am going to link um, the, the article that I used uh, in the description below. Um, it is a Guru 3D article. It is very detailed so I'm not going to be giving too much information about that. Um, you can go read through that. Um, as I've said, you do need to make some BIOS changes, you do need to install some software on your system and then basically this is what the utility looks like and what we're going to be doing straight away is just going into the main menu section. Firstly what we'll be doing is running a diagnostic and then having a look at uh, the results that we get. Basically what this utility does is it's not dissimilar to the MSI Afterburner Auto Overclocking utility that I used a few videos ago. It basically tests your CPU to find um, either the maximum stable overclock or the maximum stable undervolt. So you can use this to either overclock or undervolt your CPU um, or you can just keep the settings as is and just see how much uh, performance tuning you can do leaving the system as it is so in other words um, reduce voltage until your CPU is stable and that is what we are going to be doing right now. So the diagnostic is done um, it rates your processor my CPU is apparently a bronze sample whatever that means um, I'm not 100% sure what the energy efficiency what how the numbers correlate to the CPU uh, but they have given us recommended values for overclocking and for undervolting and what I'm going to be doing right now is running a thorough um, system system diagnostic slash benchmark firstly what they do is they run a Cinebench default score as a baseline then it will do performance tuning for about 15 minutes to half an hour so this is something that can take a while uh, the fan, uh, CPU fan speeding up there as the uh, utility kicks off and at the end, once it has found the maximum stable values, it will rerun the Cinebench uh, benchmark to see what the difference in performance is. So the, the performance tuning is running at the moment. Um, uh, it has gone past the first stage. There was a failure in the overclocking. So what it has done is it has dropped the, the clock speed of the CPU for, for the next uh, stage of testing. Um, to see whether it can get stable 
uh, it will go through these steps a number of times as we said it is going to find the minimum stable the minimum voltage needed to keep the use uh, the CPU stable under the current BIOS settings so what you may want to do is when you are doing the performance tuning is you may want to change your, your testing mode uh, from AVX Lite to maybe something a bit more intense if you are going to be using your system for very intense workloads or for very intense gaming sessions. Um, my nephew is going to be using this PC at 1080p for some, uh, for some lights to, to, to mid-range gaming. So I'm feeling happy with these results but just keep that in mind if you do use this utility. So the performance tuning is done. Uh, the test took roughly, uh, I didn't keep track of time, but say 25 minutes or so. Um, these are the final results. So what we are going to do now is we are going to um, we are going to the profile management and we are going to save this profile. And then what we have also done is we have set the utility to auto load this, prof uh, this profile when Windows boots up. Um, so that when you boot your system this will automatically start running okay so as we can see the voltage has been locked in at uh, 1.25 volts that is a drop of 0.21 volts on the maximum that is that is a lot i mean uh, anyone who knows anything about overclocking will know that that is massive and um, here we have the, the new maximum temperature of 75 um, after it rerun the Cinebench r20 benchmark on the first run this was uh, 79 degrees so there has been a drop of 4 degrees in the maximum temperature um, obviously as a result of the, the voltage being stable now as well so very, uh, very small differences but uh, everything does add up in the end um, if we can go have a look uh, this system's default score was uh, 3586 and after the tuning was uh, 3624 Again, not massive results, but all we've done is, is tune the processor. And uh, here we can have a look at the, the CPU voltage, which has gone down, which is good. And then the uh, CPU PPT, which has also gone down. So basically, uh, the, the performance gain is very small, but uh, it is there. What's um, a much bigger um, benefit here is obviously the drop in voltage and then also the slight drop in temperature. So very good utility um, as far as i know at this moment this does only support ryzen 3000 series cpus um, there will hopefully be an update very soon for ryzen 5000 cpus um, great utility as i've said fairly risk-free as long as you are careful you do not need to be incredibly tech savvy to use this um, you just need to follow the instructions very specifically but there are definitely benefits to be had. So there you have it, uh, lower voltages, lower temperatures, uh, small bump in performance. You can undervolt your CPU with this, you can overclock it as far as you can. There is a lot of uh, performance to be had, a lot of performance tuning, and I think the, the more experienced overclockers will have a lot of fun with this. Obviously, you do need to be using an AMD system, and a Ryzen 3000 series uh, CPU specifically, although I can almost guarantee that they will have a version of this utility at some stage that supports Ryzen 5000 series CPUs. Thanks for watching guys and girls, hope you enjoyed this video, uh, if you haven't already please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!